Okay, let's look at saving your designs in Canva. First of all, I am going to go to the create a design button. I'm going to choose an Instagram post and this will basically create a brand new design for me. You'll see at the top, it gets called untitled design. So I'm just gonna change that to Instagram version one. Now the crucial thing here is Canva is a cloud-based solution. So anytime you create a new design, it will automatically save that to the designs folder or designs tab within the your projects area back in the home page. What we can do here is if I, for example, choose the background color of this design to this yellow color, it is automatically going to save as we make a change. And you'll see that with this little area I'm circling here. So when the tick appears, it means changes have been saved. If I jump to this new template, you'll see again, it's going to work on saving it, but because we've made a change, it will now mark that one as saved. There we go, with a tick. Now, if I jump back to the home tab, you'll see that within the Your Projects area, we can see that newly created design. And it basically lives within this Designs tab, just in here. However, if I open this one up, the other option we have available to us is to go to File and to use Make a Copy. And what this is essentially going to do is create a duplicate of that file and it just gives it a name copy of Instagram V1. So I'm just going to delete the copy off bit and I'm going to change this to V2. What I'll do in this case is I'll swap the template out. It's going to automatically save this. So let's jump back to the home area, go back into your projects and you'll see now we have the V2 and the V1. Now don't worry, it has actually changed the template here. It's just taken a little while to update this thumbnail, but you'll see if I click on it, it has made that change. The final thing to make you aware of is if you go to file, you can actually choose to save to a folder and instead of saving it to that designs folder within your projects, you can choose save to folder. You can then go into your projects, but this time you can create a new folder here and call this one, for example, Instagram, add to new folder. And what you will see is if I go back to home, then go back into your projects, instead of living within the designs area, there's Instagram V1, we can go into folders, then open up the Instagram folder, and there is the V2. So any changes will automatically be saved using the save functionality within Canva, but you can use make a copy or you can choose to save to another folder.